Hello students, welcome to IIS by Heart. The UPSC pattern has 7 papers, 4 general studies, 1 essay and 2 optional papers. All together, they carry a total of 1750 marks. Improving writing skills will drastically change the fortunes of a candidate for the good in this exam. And mains is that part of the exam which can either put you in the list or send you out. So it's important to leave no stone unturned when it comes to your mains preparation. Let me clarify few of the hiccups which aspirants have when they start writing answers. Initial hiccups I don't know what to write. I haven't studied enough. This is the common obstacle that beginners face which is due to lack of information or points. The common mindset is, let me cover the syllabus then I'll have enough points to write. This is a big mistake since covering whole main syllabus will take around 4-5 to five months and even then you would not feel confident about your syllabus and your preparation since you are not in a position to put them on paper. I get discouraged when I go through my writing as they look no better than school kids. You expect your write-ups to look like the ones you have read in the Hindu or in Indian Express. But when you read your write-up, you get disappointed as your write-ups are monotonous and boring. Remember that those interesting articles are result of hundreds of boring write-ups. You may end up reading hundreds of books, but you'll never feel like writing. So writing has to start today, however bad, but today. Now let's see how you can start today. As a beginner, you can pick up questions from Indian society and start answering them. Questions of society are very common in nature and needs no special preparation. You can also write questions on current affairs if you follow the newspapers every day. From day 1 of your preparation, set aside 15-20 to 20 minutes in the day for writing and try writing your opinions of that day's issue or topic. While you continue this practice every day, for 3-4 to four months you will also be getting through a good deal of the syllabus. And if you manage to be regular with the 15 minutes practice too, you will see a marked change in the way you are writing. Here, I would suggest you to join our Answer Writing Improvement Program as the course will primarily focus on understanding the demand of the question, better structuring of the content, improving articulation and improving the presentation skills beside improving the content and time management. We will be posting questions every day in our telegram group. You can write answers to them and send them to us as PDF. Our mentors will keep track of your progress and keep giving you suggestions to make your answers look appealing and scoring. Concise notes will also be provided for all 4 GS papers which can help you save time in scouting for materials and resources. What are some tips to improve your writing skills? To begin with, follow the outline for all questions. You should have an introduction, body and a conclusion to your answer. Side headings are very important since they give a direction to the examiner and make evaluation easy. Next one, focus on quality. Restrict the use of unnecessary technical words and cliches. Answer to the question and to the point. Picking up the right pen. Pick up a pen which has a bigger circumference. This can help reduce the friction and in turn reduce the pain. The next point is draw diagram if only you can do very quickly without compromising on the number of the points and the time limit. Make sure you have answered all parts of the question asked. For example, this question has three parts. First, we have to discuss the issues involved in appointment of election commissioners. Second, the role of the chief election commissioner in removal of other election commissioners. And the last part are the reforms. Here, you can see that the aspirant has answered all the three parts of the question. Next is the paper or sides management. Quality must go hand in hand with quantity. So, make it a point to write two sides for a 10 mark question and at least two and a half sides for a 15 mark question. Underlining keywords. 
Highlighting keywords can help the examiner in getting the crux of your answer easily. The more easy you make it for the examiner, the more marks you will get. Out of 5 lakh odd aspirants who will appear for prelims this year, hardly 1 to 2 percent will actually be deadly consistent with their writing practice. Remember, only few among these consistent 2 percent of aspirants will see the light of the merit list. So, start your answer writing practice today and be consistent. It's not what we do once in a while that shapes our lives, but what we do consistently. All the best.